Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got something I think uh, just about everybody will think is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this has been a great couple of weeks for sure. Uh, thank you so much uh, to the gentleman who sent these in. It'll be apparent very soon. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So I will link any and all information relating to the contents of this box in the uh, description of this video. I don't know uh, when they will be available. I, I have no idea. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get in here first and then we can talk about that. Okay. So here's this. Oh, oh my gosh. No, we're breaking immersion. No, they're supposed to think that the whole, this is a, a just a universe that exists just like this. And the, the background is permanent and can't be moved. <laughs> the freaking, the thing started to roll up there. Okay. If you didn't know, this is literally just a cheap piece of vinyl. Uh, it's it's uh, faux leather vinyl upholstery. So, ah, yes, yes, yes. So this is um, Mr. Serge Penchenko. So uh, this is a uh, collaboration between um, Hawk and Serge. And if you if you know about past collaborations with Hawk and Serge, then you'll know that there's really nothing like. That's a uniqueness that is, it's unique beyond unique. This is the kind of thing that you'll never see a clone for, right? Uh, like uh, everybody always says like, oh, you know, if it's really, really cool, just wait for the cloners to do. Yeah, they, they haven't been able to do an, any of this stuff. <laughs> any of the stuff that uh, uh, Hawk and Surge have, have done. Um, and I, I love that. I think that's really cool. So let's open these up. Um, oh boy, man, we really got some fortification here. I like these pouches. So this, let me feel which one's lighter, because I know what, um, the, he sent me a couple, you know, different materials. I think, yeah, okay, so this, let's do this one first. This one's just a tad lighter. There we go. And, oh, is it a little bit bigger than I thought it was? Man, you really got these things wrapped up. <laughs> I think, yeah, wow, the knife is bigger than I thought it was going to be. So this is the Rook. Oh, God. <laughs> How do you guys make these feel so cool? Why does this feel so awesome? How? You would think, you would think just, just flipping a knife and getting it back into the clothes. You just think, like, if you've done it with one knife, You've, you've done it with with all of them, right? How could it possibly feel different? Nope. Hawk and Surge managed to make something that actually feels more clickety, clackety, ugh, crispy, right? That's, uh, oh man, I love this. I love, this is so cool. <laughs> so they, uh, it says here, this is the toggle detent. Uh, it's a, it says, I licensed the, the Hawk lock and Hawk toggle detent from G and G Hawk, so he's using this is this is cool actually. I think can we get a look at exactly how it works? Oh yeah, over here. Ooh. Oh, oh look at how that works. That is so cool. I see in the releases over here. Ah, uh, the break of that. It's so you can see what what happens here. So it pushes over here and that's what's holding it in. And it's doing a great job of that, right? The break of this has a distinct click before it locks out. Man, and look at that blade shape. Once again, we have a, a great example of what I've always talked about. It's the surge cleaver. There was a while where like cleavers in general were just like really popular. And then it kind of went away. The surge cleaver is completely and totally outside of that fad. It's a surge cleaver. It's different. It's evergreen. It's <laughs> it's it's always cool because there's really nothing else exactly like it. Um, so these are, I think he has them. You know what? Here. So so what is this? This is Ultim. That's been. It's like a crosshatch pattern, and that's cool. I think there'll be a few different versions. I think there's like red G10, right? 
What is this thing in here? I guess that's the tang of the blade. Okay. Or the flipper. That is so unbelievably satisfying, that click right there. Oh, man. So cool. God. That and the switch to get it to come back into the close position. Look at that. That's the stop. Is that? Yeah. So this thing right here is literally the open position and close position stop. You know what I can bet? Yup, that the lockup is completely and totally solid. So these are not like production knives. These are, these are as far as I'm concerned, these are custom knives, as far as I understand. My intent when designing, let's go ahead and, before I read that, let me get the other one out. Because I'll, I'll read what he's, what he's got there. But let's look at this other one. Um, he did, uh, I, I am gonna buy one of these. Um, and so, I think it's probably gonna be this one. Yeah, I think it's gonna, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be, that's so cool, and that's, that's great. I thought, for some reason, that this knife was like this big, between my thumb and index finger. No, it's all, it's, I mean, it's not huge, but it's a lot bigger than that. It's gotta be at least seven and a half inches. No, it's actually only, this is so weird. It's only seven inches. It, it feels so much bigger than that. For some reason, I thought this was this little tiny thing. Oh man, I don't, I don't think I would want this to be any bigger. And that's not normally, uh, you know, usually I'm like, I wish it was like a quarter inch or half an inch, right? A little bit more, but no. Um, wow, oh, I love the titanium one. That is so cool, so cool. I'm having trouble remembering that I have to keep talking because I'm recording. What I'm wanting to do right now is just sit here and silently look over it, right? Which I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, yeah, that would be really cool. You should make another channel where you do that. I did <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, Silent Complex, I think, is still up. I just haven't uploaded anything to it for a long time. But anyways, um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So let's lay these lay these out here. And uh, it says, my intent when designing the Rook was to make a modern folder that would not only be comfortable uh, to use, but fun to play with as well. Yeah, just that first line, I think you, you accomplished that. I did not want to release yet another frame lock or liner lock into the market. Don't blame you. Happy you didn't. So I licensed the Hawk Lock and Hawk Toggle Detent from g, &G Hawk. We have previously collaborated on a model called the Orbit. I remember that a long time ago I reviewed that, uh, which used a very similar mechanism uh, and which was well, well received by the knife community, definitely. I will be offering several other blade shapes down the road, as well as an option for left hand carry. Awesome, that's very good. Uh, the reason for not offering a machine clip is I personally dislike them. Okay. In my opinion, bent clips work better, feel better in the hand, and do not protrude far off the knife, ruining the design visually. Okay, fair enough. Works are full customs made by me. The small hardware parts such as screws and springs are made for me by companies in the USA. That's awesome, so there you go. CPM 20 CV at 62 HRC. Nice, you're gonna get a huge round of applause from everybody except the, you know, the natural contrarian, uh, which who, who cares? Uh, but uh, yeah, you're gonna get a huge round of applause from the vast majority of people watching this video. Um, let's see here, some other specs. I'll let you, in fact, I'll let you guys uh, pause that if you want to and read it. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Wow, these are spectacular. I have to I have to have this. I knew, you know, I figured I'm probably gonna buy it, uh, even though it's a small knife, but I gotta say, I am so pleasantly surprised that even though it's seven inches, I'm telling you guys, uh, I think it's just, it just, it's it's such a loud design. It's, and, it, and when it, when I say that, I mean, it is visually so striking that it seems so much bigger than it actually is. This is such a wild looking freaking robot Tyrannosaurus Rex looking thing. I don't know, man. Um, and also the clicks, the extra clicks and clacks of that toggle detent. God bless it. That is just music. Oh man, that really tickles the senses. <laughs> that is awesome. I am uh, I'm a huge fan of this. This is wonderful. So this is not a review. It's just an unboxing and first impressions. Uh, like I said, information will be linked down below. You will absolutely get a full comprehensive review of this knife after I've had a chance to uh, spend some time with it. As of right now, though, that's that's going to be it. 
Uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much to Serge for sending these in uh, so that I can share uh, these knives with you. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.